iOS 26 has arrived. Along with its fantastic new features, like the ability to customize the lock screen, the beautiful liquid glass design, and the redesigned main apps such as Camera and Safari, there are also some issues. We can notice overheating problems and also slowdowns when opening certain apps. Other users have reported issues online. For example, on Reddit, you can already find several posts about the bugs in the very first release of iOS 26. Don't worry. Let's see how to perform a downgrade to bring your device back to iOS 18 in its latest version. This can be useful if you installed iOS 26 but want better performance, or if you simply don't like the new design. Before downgrading or updating the system, I recommend using the program iMyPhone DBAC. This app lets you create a selective backup of all the data on your iPhone. All you need to do is connect your iPhone and open the app. Then go to iOS Data Backup and wait for your smartphone to connect. Once it's ready, press the purple button at the bottom. The program will prepare the backup, which may take a few minutes. You'll then be asked to enter your unlock code. After entering it, the program will start working. At the end of the process, you'll see this screen. Click on Backup List, and you'll find all the backups created on your PC from your iPhone. Select the one you're interested in, usually the most recent one. Press Next, and you'll arrive at a screen where you can choose the apps and data to include. You can select everything, or just the items that matter to you. For example, only photos, videos, WhatsApp messages, and so on. Let's say we select only photos. Press Next, and wait for the program to process, which may take several minutes depending on how many files are on your device. When it finishes, you'll be able to browse through your photos, or even delete some if you don't need them anymore. You can repeat the exact same process for videos as well. When you're ready, choose Recover to Computer. Pick the destination folder on your PC and confirm. Press Recover and wait while the program saves everything. When it's complete, a folder will open with all the files saved on your PC. They'll be organized into subfolders, matching the structure from your iPhone. Once you've secured this backup, you're ready to move on to the next step, the downgrade. Now, go to the official website shown here. Select your device. In this case, let's choose iPhone 12 Pro. Then, download the latest available version of iOS 18, which right now is 18.6.2. The download may take a while depending on your internet speed. When it's done, open iTunes on your PC. Before proceeding, make sure you have disabled the Find My Service on your iPhone. You can do this by entering your Apple ID password in the settings. Now go back to iTunes. Hold down the Shift key on your keyboard and click Restore iPhone. This will open a window where you can select the firmware file you just downloaded. Choose it, and the restore process will begin. Remember, this will completely erase all the data on your iPhone. That's why we created the backup earlier with iMyPhone D back. The installation may take several minutes because your iPhone will be fully reinstalled. Don't worry if it restarts multiple times. That's normal. At the end, you'll see the setup screen on your iPhone. And on your PC, you might see this loading window while the iPhone keeps working in the background. Once the setup is complete, you'll be able to configure your iPhone again from scratch. At this point, You'll be back on iOS 18, ready to use it again. Now that you're back on iOS 18, open iMyPhone DBAC again. Keep your iPhone connected. Go to iOS Backup, choose the backup you want to restore, and click Next. Select, for example, your photos and videos. Then choose Recover to Device and press Next. The program will start the restore process. Again, make sure Find My is turned off just like before. Press Next, then Next again, and wait a few minutes while the data is restored. This may take some time, depending on the size of your backup. Don't worry if you see messages or restarts on your iPhone. That's part of the process. Once it's finished, click Complete and wait for your iPhone to restart. Unlock it and you'll see the setup screens. Press Continue 
Enter your Apple ID password and finish the initial loading. When everything is complete, you'll find all your photos, videos, and other data back on your iPhone, exactly as they were before. If this video was helpful, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.